Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Tornado Survival with Minecraft Mike. Last time, we uh, got a sandstorm and started doing some work on the actual town itself, cleaning it up, giving access to all of the houses, and starting to light things up. I've been on for a little bit, a day or so in Minecraft time, uh, cutting some trees down, gathering some wood, so that we can start making a buttload of fences to start wrapping things up. I have done no cleanup since the sandstorm, and cleanup does need to happen. So we're going to do a little bit of that this episode, along with laying out some of these fences. Um, I do want to mention I just turned down, I changed, tweaked some of the settings. Um, I turned down the chance of storms from high down to medium, uh, because that one day I was on, like, three thunderstorms had spawned, and I'm, you know, I, I want them to, I want them to occur good enough where the, the show stays interesting, but I don't want them to be every single episode having to worry about things getting destroyed. You know, we're going to find that balance where we can do some work, but also, um, spend some time cleaning up. So, I turn it down to medium. We're going to see how that works out. Um, I guess I can show you guys the configuration. So, I, I turned this to medium. I left rain high. Um, I want, I was thinking about maybe just making this to like two days, but I don't really understand this setting. Rate of storms per each player. Um, I would think that a higher number would make it less common, but I wasn't totally sure. So I just went ahead and changed the storms and we'll start with that. Um, so that's what I went ahead and went with. And I'm over here in this little forest biome after I cut up those trees down. I figured this was much easier to do. So we're just going to replant some so that some of this will grow back and we can kind of keep a forested area. Um, the nice thing is that if, unless there's a massive tornado, um, the landscape shouldn't stay too ugly because we have lots of desert nearby and the forest is very minimal. So we'll be able to like regrow the forest pretty easily, I think, if we get a tornado that hits this. The desert won't take too much damage. Of course, if it's strong enough, I think it's going to actually rip up the ground. But uh, we'll just have to worry about damage in town, which um, should be tolerable. Um, there's a few cows over here. There's lots, actually. So I'm just going to kill a couple because we need some we need some leather. Um, so we can make our enchantment table. So my levels are getting up there. And yeah, that's about it. Although the sky looks very bland. I uh, changed the setting and then I logged out and logged back in. I didn't totally restart the game, but I'm thinking I might have to because I feel like it's broken now. <laughs> um, I haven't messed with those settings before, so I'm a little worried that I might have just, you know, configuring them inside the game was rather interesting. So... We'll have to see if that works, because um, there's nothing on radar. So, of course, we'll give it a day or so, um, but I might have to... Actually, I probably should just completely restart the game, just to make sure you know it doesn't get bugged out. So, I'm going to sleep, give this a good restart, and then we're going to start some cleanup in the morning of the sandstorm, just so we can see how easy or difficult it is going to be to do so. So, we'll start with that here in the morning. we got a good chunk of wood. I think we're definitely going to need more, but this will be a good enough start. So, we'll pick up with that in just a moment. That fixed the problem, because there were some storms when I changed the settings, so I think it just kind of like glitched and wiped everything out, but you can see that since I changed the settings, you know, all of these were intensifying, but now they're weakening, so that should help to lower the chances of just general, for, of lower the chances of storms in general. If you guys have any more details on the settings of whether or not it's, you know, I should just tweak that first one to like two days, you know, or if I should, you know, just leave it how I've had it. Um, let me know down in the comments, because people always seem to know more about the settings. But the settings in this game have always been, or in this mod have always been confusing. I mean, I remember them always kind of causing trouble. Um, just like we were never sure if the number should be higher or lower or whatnot. So it seems like he's made that much easier, but there's still a couple discrepancies in there. Um, so yeah, we're going to have some storms moving our way, but right now they are weakening, so... Um, I wouldn't mind a rainstorm or a thunderstorm, but we'll, we'll see how these shape out. These might just be weakening for the sole purpose that we had the, um, the settings changed. So you can see there is sand absolutely everywhere. And uh, like before, it piles up. Basically, the sand blows, and then it hits something, and then it falls down to the ground. So along the windward sides of these objects, it's, you know, it's starting to pile up. Even just little things like torches are causing it to pile up. And this you know crop seemed to not taken any damage i would have expected them to be kind of flattened out which is good um i'm not sure if it's actually picking up blocks from the desert i think we had decided that it was but i'm not totally sure so i think 
it will be i'm not sure how like downwind it goes i'm not sure if it just kind of blows so i'm just i'm imagining in my head what if we built like a two or three wall high wall two or three block high wall that kind of surrounds basically the desert or wherever the sandstorm comes from i don't know if it's like even if there's a little bit of desert inside of the wall if it's going to blow it or how it's going to work but i'm imagining that if you were to build a wall around this or even just the fence it might significantly make the cleanup easier and help limit the amount of debris that makes it into town because um you know it's not this isn't the worst thing in the world to have to clean this up um especially if it's like just every once in a while but if it becomes kind of regular of course i'll see if there's settings for frequencies of sandstorms but i would imagine that building <laughs> building those blocks will make it a little bit better uh if we built some sort of wall so getting this up will be will be a priority here and you can see it all and unless it becomes a full block it all drops as these placeable sand layers which is basically like a snowball when you're stacking the layer up so you know it's it's going to be kind of tedious to put these back into full blocks so i, I imagine a lot of this is just going to end up getting burnt uh well you know we'll keep a couple stacks around but i think this is going to get pretty uh burnt up here as it just doesn't seem to serve too much of a purpose um so yeah we're just going to run around i'll let you guys view me cleaning this up a little bit here um and then after you view a little bit of this, I'll do the rest of this kind of off screen and we'll see if we can get some fence placed um, sort of soon. I, I probably won't clean up every single block right now because I'm imagining before we get this wall up, there's going to be another storm. But I'm just going to do you know, a little bit of this here on these pathways which and in front of these doorways because that's very important to note that that did block that doorway. And these are also ready to turn into path blocks boom there we go I'll also clean up around the crops because I don't have to worry about the crops there in front of the windows that's funny that is uh, is pretty cool with that that sandstorm that came through I have to say that I enjoyed that all right so I do like making these paths nice that's always something I've done on even if you look back to some of the old series we did that's definitely something that we we did a lot of so making the paths nice back when they were the old gravel texture not so much anymore although this this is floating over here i didn't notice i have to well, i have to fill that in and there is lightning coming out of the coming pretty far out of this storm we're not, i didn't think we were that close to it but uh we'll connect these paths right here but here we are getting lightning so i guess i should probably i wish this game um, one of the things that he could add to this mod that I would really like is if he did some more with lightning, which I know that's probably a very hard thing to mod, you know, it's one thing to add something to the game, but to change how it works in, in the Minecraft code can be, can be a little difficult. But if he did, if you had lightning, um, where it would basically, cause right now it just, it just, it basically just does a random block. It picks a random block and there's all sorts of weird stuff that it does with like how into the ground it can actually go. Um, but if you were to make it where it would specifically look for high points to strike like actual lightning would you know lightning it would be much less likely to strike right there but you know striking the top of this building would make a big difference um and how like the you know your builds would be more likely to be hit by lightning you would be more likely to hit, be hit by lightning um you could build lightning rods to stop them from catching on fire when lightning strikes i think that would be pretty cool if that happened um, and we need to clean up our back porch because it allowed him to walk right out of there. So let's clean that up next. All right, I'm going to do some cleaning up and then I'll catch up with you guys when I start putting some fences down. I see how it is. Well, um, I guess why the hell not? <laughs> All right. <laughs> Apparently that can happen. Um, they like to stand on beds and on furnaces. They like to stand on top of things. So we got a ton of sand 11 pieces that is the ton of sand that i was able to to gather um actually no it's the whole basically whole chest in here um of this placeable sand layer so that's a thing um skies has looked a little stormy but there's been nothing on radar so we'll see, we'll see how it goes today um if whether or not we're going to get a storm just to see how those settings are working out but i'm going to craft the let me help you there you go. Um, man, you guys are uh, 
Sorry, I'll leave you alone in a moment. But we're going to go ahead and just turn all of these. All of these into stuff here. And then we'll just turn all those into sticks. And we'll start here with three stacks of planks. Ah, uh, not planks. Fences. I know what these are called. <laughs> so we'll start with these guys. And um, we'll just start with, you know, giving a little bit of a buffer here. Um... But I don't want to go too far, so we'll, we'll we'll just start with like right here, for instance. Let's start with this. So I'm like I said, a simple fence for now. In the future, I envision some sort of wall, but this is really just so we can get this place lit up, and also see how this interacts with sandstorms to see if this is you know something we should be doing um, to keep this place safe. So we're gonna just I didn't realize that this lined up right next to it. Um, I would like to have a little bit more of a buffer, so I'm going to rip these up, actually. Um, and I'm going to run back and get some um, dirt, too, to fill in some of this stuff. Um, yeah, I didn't realize this was so close. I would like to have a little bit more space to do that. Um, so there's a buffer, because that way, if there is a mob... Specifically, like, if I'm harvesting crops at night and a creeper can walk up to the other side of the fence and blow up. And um, just so something weird doesn't happen where if there is someone that didn't get, you know, in their house, that it's not too big of an issue. Ah, uh, there we go. So a few rain showers developing. Let's see what storm movement is today. They look like they're both moving away from us. Yeah, and they might both be moving away from us today. So I might have another safe day. Let's see. Uh, we'll grab some dirt. And I am going to make another shovel. Actually, stone shovels were doing just fine. Uh, you know, because it was just mostly sand layers. We don't need anything that special. All right, let's go back to work here. All right, um, I guess I could start at the other far corner there. Um, let's see if that's right there. Let's just go, like, out this far. This should be pretty good. Do -do -do. Yeah, we'll do right here. That'll give us enough space of a buffer room, and of course we want to maybe build onto the, the... Maybe the shower's not moving away from us. Look, that's where it ends. That's where it starts. Right at the edge where it's just starting to rain. Actually, you can punch those sand layers instantly. Oh, that'll be easier than using the shovel. I was using the shovel, and it was causing some... You know, I was ended up tearing up lots of dirt underneath of it, but... If we just can punch everything, that makes it nice and easy. Don't have to worry about that then. Let's see, we'll fill this in. I'll just be able to run around town and punch everything. Make it much easier. Even though that should probably be of sand, I'm just going to fill it in with dirt for now. You know, it's that'll become dirt here on the inside. We'll, we'll tear up all the sand inside of town. And we'll go ahead and replace it with dirt. Just one, because it looks nice. But two, because um, I, I wonder if it can actually, if it does actually pick up these blocks, and that'll just limit the chances of us getting that to spread in. So let's see. How high up do we need to go? We need to go probably where that cactus is. Maybe we'll go right above the, on the top of this ledge. Um, that might be a good bet. We'll probably go on top of this ledge. That'll probably work. Um, I'll fill it in nicely. Well, you know, we don't have to work on this this whole episode. We'll just work on a corner here. And, you know, after we get that corner in, we'll run around with some torches. And we don't have to get all three sides in. But um, we'll at least get a good chunk of this in. I want to at least get this side of the wall in so that if we do get another sandstorm, we'll see how this fence works. Um, I imagine some blocks will get carried over. But, you know, we make this a couple block haul, a nice little wall around the village. It might make a difference. Of course, we'll make it out of stone to be weather safe. All right. Well, I'm going to finish placing this down, and I'll show you guys how far I get. Oh, look, a, a cave happens to be right here with sandstone. We'll have to go explore that soon. Um... Do a little bit of mining so we can make some more resources. Uh, so, you know, we'll need lots of sirens to cover the entire town and maybe have some on the outskirts so you can hear them in the distance. Uh, if they can signal a bit sooner. I actually had enough. I went back and made just a little bit more um, fences, but otherwise had enough, which was rather surprising. Um, so I think what I'm going to do is just 
stop this right about here. Um, and then I'm going to rip this up, this little connecting piece of land, and make this an island over here. And then we'll just light up this whole island and won't have to worry about fencing this in. We'll make this island part of the town, which I think will be good. We'll, put, we'll build something out on this. And we'll keep the rest for now. There's been a lot of showers over there on radar today, but they've all stayed uh, plenty far away. Haven't really bothered us here at all. Um, if we start having a problem with mobs using this little walkway to get here, we will address that and think about fencing it all the way in. But otherwise, we're not. So now that it's getting dark, I'm actually going to stay up a little bit here in the dark and light things up. Um want to just, you know, get a good idea of where it's dark and where it's not. It's very hard to lay torches during the day. Um, we're not going to do the whole town because we do need to get some more coal before we can do the whole town, but we'll just go ahead and do this island. Um, should be able to safely do that. And I'll have enough here. I think I'll have enough. I might be a few short. Let's see. We'll go back and make a few. I think like two or three more will be good and we'll be able to wrap that up. Um, grab some coal real quick. But I think if we go do a little bit more mining, I will off screen. I can just grab some coal, some basic resources. But, you know, we'll do a mining episode sometime soon. I'll do that because I know there are some people that really do like to watch mine. And the exploring of caves. You never know when we're going to find a spawner underneath. Um, all right. I think this island is pretty well lit up. I don't think we'll have any mob spawning issues here. So that'll be good. All right. Let's go ahead and head to sleep here all right there we go we got that fence up so that'll be helpful um, we'll be ready to start actually lighting up everything in town what do we have on radar just some dying showers from last yesterday moving away with that storm system that's about it oh oh my goodness <laughs> yep I put a torch on top of here but I didn't think about the other buildings oh god he's gonna blow up I'm gonna run away. Come on, come out, come out a little bit farther from town. Looks like we need to light up some more. And look, they actually harvested the crops. There you go. Uh, yes, these need to be lit up. Um, unfortunately, they do, and it's a little tricky to. There. Oh, I thought I was gonna have that. Let's try again. Now I'm not gonna be able to get up there. We'll just play some blocks. Okay. We'll just stop some here. Oh, there's sand on the roof. We'll put this there. I'll have to do that roof over there as well. These roofs, I don't think there's any... These these might actually be spawnable blocks. That's a shame. Torches look dumb on the roofs, but not really anything you can do about it. Uh, you could put like a glowstone block in the ceiling because you won't really see it from the top, you know? So that can help stop the spawning, but... All right, well, if you guys have any ideas for things you want to see be built inside of these, um, in the town, or additions you want to be made to the, you know, the town, let me know down below in the comments. Um, I think this will be the last episode I'll probably record in, in this series of recordings. I recorded one more than I usually do, um, just because I was enjoying playing so much. So I'll be able to actually look back and make changes after this recording of things, um, things to come. Yeah, it looks like these probably need a torch up here. Dang, making them ugly. And what other flat roofs? I got that roof. Oh, there's sand up there. So we have... I won't worry about these roofs, I don't think. Yeah, we'll just leave these roofs for now. Unless I can easily get on this roof, I'm just going to leave them for now. <laughs> yeah, we'll just forget about it. This is good enough. Um, all right. Well, I think next up on the list is uh, to do a little bit of work on these paths. And uh, make some gates in and out of this town. And um, from there, I think it'll be time to work on a few other things. So there is some other items you can craft in the weather mod that we haven't yet. And I think next episode, I'll go ahead and craft those. If you know, I'll look, and if we got enough resources, we will probably craft those. I think that might be a good idea. Whoops. The, um, the sand, when it blows, it will actually pile up underneath of the water. And it's rather annoying that it does that, because it'll ruin the water on the top. But you will see it. It'll be like, um, yeah, like down here, see? It actually just comes out as a placeable, land, a placeable sand layer, and then you get the actual water to pile up like that. But man, this is deep. And this, this, <laughs> this town right here might have a really good basement for us to build in. 
Um, but yeah, I think next time we will build, some, we'll craft some more things in um, in the tornado mod, and we'll see what the weather holds for us. I think we'll about, we're about due to have a little bit more interesting weather, another Minecraft day or so. I might have to I might have to change the settings, make it back to high, but then change the other one to two and see if that has any better, because it's been it's been a little quiet. But I guess we do need a few days to build, so I'm not complaining at the moment. But that'll be it for this episode of Tornado Survival. Sorry there wasn't any dis death and destruction. I know some of you will be disappointed, but you never know when it's going to hit. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll talk to you later. See ya!